So if you're here and you're like, what if I don't know what to sell or if I don't have any proof my audience will buy it? This is the hack. This is what I want to talk about. So I came up with this five five tier system framework, if you will, about how to not feel like you have to create the entire product ahead of time and then sell it. The idea is to launch a tiny workshop first. And this is the part that I've never taught before. If you were to test a concept and sell it before you have any skin in the game, you just start talking about it on social media, you email your list, you put it in your header on your Facebook personal profile or whatever, talking about a, a workshop that you're going to put on that's going to be an hour, you're going to charge 27 bucks for the workshop, then you know if people want the topic or if they don't. If nobody signs up, you haven't wasted any time, you haven't lost anything because you haven't created anything. You don't actually create the workshop until people buy it. When you put on the workshop, you can put it on in a way that you chop up what you're teaching and you can upload it in little sections as if you were creating the modules or the lessons of your tiny offer and then boom, it's done, right? So like this is the hack to be able to launch products without creating them before people have paid. So if you can rinse and repeat this cycle a couple different times and figure out what that product suite would look like and you're testing different concepts and things that people need, that's how you can build this whole system really quickly. Like you could launch this tomorrow, right? You create this sales system afterwards, this whole blueprint that I'll show you in a second, and then you sell it with partners on social media. And then you, you know, ad, you don't advertise it yet. You don't pay a dime for ads until you already know that it's making money. That's the key that you don't, how you're not going to lose your tail on this type of offer. You're not going to spend any money on it until you know that it's converting. That's the biggest shift. So step number one, um, design it in a way that you can easily chop and upload as a course, launch the tiny workshop system. Step number one, step one and a half, I guess, would be to rinse and repeat until you have three different products. Step two, write a sales page for that tiny workshop and you turn that workshop into a product. And then think about how you'd add the second and third product onto that sales system, share it with other people's audiences through partnerships and shared revenue strategies first, and then start your ads once you already know that it's working. So this is what that whole system looks like once you validated your offer. So once you have feel like you're ready to run traffic, whether it's paid traffic or you know getting on podcasts and talking about it, the flow is essentially this, that there's a sales page with your first product on it, the thing that's gonna get their attention, that's $27. And then on the order form, you have a checkbox. That's why I put that little green check mark on there. There's an order bump and an order bump is just a, a little box. It's like a tiny box where you add in another product that people can add on with one check. And then after they check out, it redirects them instead of to a confirmation page, it brings them to a page that's like, thanks so much for being here. If you want even more success or you wanna take the next level, this is the next product that would benefit you to buy. So you're presenting, you know, again, this pain point solving and agitating cycle, you're bringing them to the next thing and they're like, oh my gosh, I do want to learn how to sell more. I didn't know that you could teach me that. That's awesome. Instead of like trying to hit them with like, look at this sales product I have because they're not, they're not there yet. They haven't imagined themselves as already having had the result that the tiny offer will teach them. Isn't this awesome? Like I just, this is so revolutionary and I know it's like, it might be a little mind blowing and it takes some time to sink in, but this is the tiny offer blueprint. It's literally two different steps. And if you're paying for ads, the average order, this is where we're going to get nerdy and I'm going to say marketing words. So just hang tight. So the average order value is how much most people spend after going through these three products, because not everyone's going to buy all three, right? Not everyone's going to buy the first two. There's going to be an average of what people end up spending. So if you're paying for advertising, say you're spending even $40 right now on Facebook ads to get someone to buy a product after you know all the impressions and people clicking and finally getting someone to make a purchase, as long as your average order value is more than $40, that's where the profit can come in from running the ads. So if you are like Team Tiny Offer and you just wanna have tiny offers, you just need to make sure that you're spending less on traffic. Maybe you do a, a cheaper strategy, like um, having more visibility on Pinterest or going more organic. Or if you want to scale into a higher high ticket thing, you could literally break even and scale on Facebook ads to the moon and still make profit on the back end with your high ticket stuff. Isn't this awesome? Is this making sense? You guys get this? Mind blowing? <laughs> it can be. 
I'm trying to like, I get really, really excited. And sometimes I like go too far too fast. So I'm just going to like <laughs> chill.